Bridge VLAN is a new feature on the Omada controller that allows users to create multiple VLANs conveniently in a single subnet at a time. It is typically configured on the gateway. This feature is especially useful when the network is configured with a large number of PPSKs, which also require a considerable number of VLANs. With PPSK enabled, along with Bridge VLAN, the clients connected to the same SSID can be easily assigned to different VLANs, facilitating network management and ensuring higher security. This video will guide you through configuring the Bridge VLAN function via the Omada SDN controller. We will use a network configured with PPSK without RADIUS as an example to illustrate how the Bridge VLAN function works. Go to Settings, Wire Networks, LAN. Click Create New LAN. Enter a name for the new LAN and choose Interface for the purpose. Select the LAN interfaces of the gateway. Choose multiple for the VLAN type. This will enable you to create multiple VLANs easily at one time. Specify the VLAN ID with a value between 1 and 4090. To create multiple VLANs, enter a range of VLAN IDs. In the PPSK scenario, it is currently recommended to configure 10 to 20 VLANs for a single VLAN interface. Specify the gateway subnet of the network created and click Update DHCP range. Other settings can be set by default or configured based on your own needs. Click Save to save your settings. More VLAN interfaces can be created through the same process. Up to 256 VLAN interface entries, including the default entry, are supported for a single site on the Omada controller. After configuring the gateway, the configuration will be automatically assigned to the switch's All Profile. The All Profile is applied to all the ports of the switch by default, so you don't need to configure additional settings. If you want to customize your settings, click Create New Port Profile for the switch. Enter a name to identify the profile. Select the VLANs just created for the tag networks. Other settings can be kept by default or configured based on your own needs. Save the profile settings. Now you have two ways to apply the profile to the switch ports. First, go to Switch Settings in the LAN page and edit the port profile for the switch you want to configure. Second, go to the Devices page. Click on the switch to open the Properties window and configure the port profile under the Ports tab. Edit a specific port to apply the profile or select multiple ports to configure in batches. Click Apply and the profile created will take effect immediately for the selected ports. By applying the port profile to the switch ports, the specific ports will only receive traffic from the VLAN selected in the profile. Go to Profiles PPSK to create a new PPSK profile. To assign PPSKs to multiple VLANs quickly, you can import the PPSK file you have previously created and each PPSK corresponding to a single VLAN. Save the PPSK profile. Go to Wireless Networks WLAN to create a new SSID. Choose PPSK without RADIUS and apply the PPSK profile created. Click Apply to save the settings. For more information on PPSK configuration, please refer to this video. With VLAN settings, clients on different VLANs of the same interface cannot communicate, yet access to the core network and other interfaces remain unblocked. Thus, you also need to set up extra ACL rules for each interface to block the clients from reaching the core network and other interfaces to enhance network security. Go to Network Security, ACL, Gateway ACL. Click Create New Rule. Enter a description to identify the rule and click the checkbox to enable the ACL. Select LAN to LAN for direction, deny for policy, and all for protocols. Select Network for both the source and destination type. Choose one LAN network created in Step 1 as a source network. 
and the default network and other interfaces as a destination. By doing so, all the clients connected to the specific VLAN interface will be unable to access the core network and other subnets. Click Create and the ACL rule will take effect immediately. The ACL rules for other interfaces can be configured in the same way. Use a PPSK to connect a mobile phone to the SSID. The IP address obtained is 192.168.10.2. Use another PPSK to connect a different client to the SSID. The IP address obtained is 192.168.10.3. The clients are in the same subnet. Use a ping tool in the mobile phone to ping the IP address 192.168.10.3. The ping request should fail since the two clients are assigned to different VLANs. Use a PPSK to connect a mobile phone to the SSID. The IP address obtained is 192.168.10.2. Use another PPSK to connect a different client to the SSID. The IP address obtained is 192.168.20.3. The clients are in different subnets. Before enabling the Gateway ACL rules, the mobile phone can successfully ping the IP address 192.168.20.3. After the ACL rules take effect, the ping request should fail since the two clients are blocked from reaching the other interface. Use a ping tool in the mobile phone to ping the IP address of the core network device. Before enabling the gateway ACL rules, the mobile phone can successfully access the core network. After the ACL rules take effect, the ping request should fail since a client is blocked from reaching the core network. 